<coughs> my name is Bob Kafka. I'm an organizer for Adaptive Texas. Um, you have my testimony, so I won't uh, read it. I just want to just some of the highlights of what focal point. Um, we were supportive of 2292, um, and in any realignment, we're not so much concerned of what the boxes are, but that they're done on a functional level. I think what, what has happened is we've siloed so much, and two particular illustrations, we think long-term services and supports with community being a focus, and obviously uh, integrated competitive employment is just two illustrations. But if you are going to consolidate in any way, we really believe consumer input has to be at the highest level. Like before it gets to Commissioner Janik, uh, or as who may be the future executive commissioner, uh, that there be a consumer board that basically vets all policies, even if after the MCAC, because it is so critical, and as it gets bigger, input becomes more important. One of the downsides of 2292 is there were policy-making boards, and you had, a, a, as a consumer, you had more input. And so as these, the new recommendations, whatever the boxes are, we, you must definitely talk about uh, having consumer input. I also want to talk about how important in terms of the, with Star Plus, in, envisioned in Senate Bill 7 would be all the long-term service and support and acute services that we have a comprehensive functional assessment. Again, I spoke earlier about we don't need silos based on what your governmental label is, but what your functional need is. So uh, as an illustration, if you need cognitive assistance, it doesn't matter if you were born with that need, had a brain injury at age 25, or a stroke. You, you, you need assistance with financial management. And a comprehensive functional assessment is critical because if you don't have that foundation, you can't ever get a delivery system where you have providers competing based on service need, not on labels. And right now, our provider industries are competing. You have various different labels based on categories, not on what they necessarily provide because many of them are different. And what ha ends up happening is even the wages of workers are, you know, varied for the exact same work. So that's why we were so supportive of Senate Bill 7. And if in the consolidation of HHSC, it should be promoted in terms of prov provider competition, functional based on your need, not your label, and, you know, consumer input. And the last I want to talk about is just on com integrated employment. I, you may not know this, but we probably spend more money on employment services with Medicaid dollars within our waivers than we do in the whole vocational rehabilitation. We have supported for the longest time to combine into all employment services being in one entity and integrate. It has been said that voc rehab doesn't do a good job serving people with cognitive and mental health. We agree. However, that does not mean that they should not be tasked with doing that instead of having all these waivers there. And if you look, that 14C that everybody helped, how many of our Medicaid dollars may be used paying sub-minimum wage? So.